Welcome to Odorama TV. My name is Marcin Lewandowski and in this episode of The Viewfinder we will try to forget about colors and look at the world in black and white. I look at some of my favorite black and white photographers with an overview of work with reflection, low-key and high-key techniques which can help you create great black and white photographs. This episode is a way to enjoy black and white photography in itself or as an exercise that will help you later on to make better color photographs. Even if you're photographing solely or at least primarily in color just like me, every now and then a photograph presents itself that screams for monotone treatment. Try to look at photographing in black and white and not in terms of the saturated color photographs, but more like a different way of photographing, a technique based on contrast. I'm still fascinated with classical black and white photography, which represents our world without the need for the color palette. An interesting thing about monochrome medium is its versatility and that almost anything and everything can be approached in black and white. Black and white is very much about a strong contrast and I like the raw approach of photographers like for example Trent Park or Tomasz Lazar. As with all photography, black and white is all about working with light and in this case it's about not being afraid to have certain parts of the photography completely hidden in the shadows to leave more for the viewer's imagination. You can aim for this look and feel by photographing in broad sunlight. And if you get a short burst of rain, it will additionally change all wet surfaces into mirrors. An approach like this is quite close to a technique called low-key. A technique which is all about darkness, broken often with just a singular object in light and usually very contrasty. As you can imagine, there is an opposite technique called high-key and works exactly the other way around with most of the image edging towards highlights or even being overexposed. I find both of these very excellent techniques to use for portraits from time to time, especially when facing a featureless background that I want to get rid of. The main thing is to give it a shot. Almost all of classical photography was done in black and white, but these photographers didn't really have a choice, maybe except hand coloring in post-production. We can choose photographing in black and white as one of the available options with the comfort of knowing that once everything is shot raw, these colors are still available. So don't wait. I recommend reducing your color palette to two tones, even if just for an exercise. Thanks for watching today. In this video, I have given you an overview of some techniques using reflections and low and high key. So all you have to do now is give it a go. It can create some truly dramatic results. Looking forward to your comments below and don't forget to like or share. Subscribe to our channel for more and check out the Adorama Learning Center for some cool tips and tutorials. This was Marcin Lewandowski for Drama TV. See you next time.